interact with each other in on all the email. So you get a little bit of side discussion going on, what's going on here, a bit of bit of banter here and a bit of banter there. And you know, one of the I you, you mentioned it and I missed this, and I think this is probably the most important thing. Mm. When you're at the top of the business, it's very, very lonely. Mm. You cannot take your problems anywhere. You have to deal with themselves. You can't take them home. You can't take your bank manager, your, your accountant, your business advisor. He's only there now and again. But what we can do is there's so much emotional support in that group. And uh, you don't feel you're alone. What's the cost of your business of being alone? The cost of my business of being alone? The cost of my business of being alone is... At its worst is my sanity okay. and, and my happiness. And if I'm not on the ball and I'm not happy and I'm not in control, um, then my business suffers massively. In tangible terms? Tangible terms, every term. You know, I, I need to be motivated too. You can, you, you know, when you turn up as an MD or a manager or, or a CEO of a business, you can turn up at work. And you're there to motivate everybody. But who motivates me? Hmm. Where do I get my motivation from? Where do I get my inspiration from? Some of the stories that come out of business leaders are just so inspiring. You, they really are. And, and, and emotional too. You know, hmm. some, of the, some of the stories of how people have got to where they are and, and how, they, how they've progressed and, and the trials that they've come through and won. And, you know, it, it's truly inspirational. And... and you know, we need to be inspired on a regular basis as well. Okay, what would you do without it? Set another one up. <laughs> okay, good answer.